Sweet Charity is a story of a hopelessly hopeful romantic, someone who thinks that without love, life has no purpose, is willing to pursue that to a fault at times, but never lets heart break uh, or heartache harden her heart. I think my mission in working on the play right now is about not trying to fix something about the play or change something so that it can be perceived differently by a modern audience, but rather to turn up the volume on the things that I think are very relevant and, and, and feminist and, and kind of about girl power <laughs> that exists in the play. Right. Sweet Charity goes from scene to scene to scene to scene to scene. As a designer, action's really important and we want to make sure that we have we support the action of the story, having people come on and off. This is a great tool, the model, um, in order to show the director in a scale space how we plan on doing this. Uh, this is definitely the show we're trying to capture its, its old-fashioned glory. What's interesting about Sweet Charity is that it's a kind of a late golden age kind of era musical but with a very complicated jazz-based score. Most of the music is dance and underscore. There is probably at least 100 pieces in the show. And Stella, one of our drapers, has built this for us. And right now we're in finishing stages where we're putting buttons, picking buttons, putting trims. There's gonna be a bow added to it. And it's all built from scratch. At any given night, we have about eight students sitting here working on orchestration, updated arrangements, changed keys for some of our students so just make the, make the songs fit better in their voices. We have a really fantastic scene shop here. This just got done yesterday and it turned out great. We're really excited about putting it on stage. And we just wanted something to convey a world that was so fancy, so hip, so fun, but a really a world that, doesn't, that she doesn't belong in. It's pretty great to be able to draw something on paper and then walk into a shop and see people actually create it, really come to life. And then later on, the whole vision becomes complete on stage with lights and set and everything that we've been talking about the whole process is, is there. We're doing a lot of doubling of parts and there's a lot of what I think of as theatrical magic present in our production that is about people uh, being one character, walking off stage, changing a wig, putting on a funny mustache and immediately walking on as a new character. Um, and I think when, I think by the time we get to the end of the play and people come out to bow, there will be a, a, a part of the audience that says, where are the rest of them? <laughs> because it takes place in a sort of variety game show like setting, we have the luxury of being able to have the entire stage swarmed with actors moving things around. I, as a, as a director, am always looking for a way to try and bring the audience forward and into the action, so uh, trying to use that um, audience relationship already shattering the fourth wall and therefore uh, enables us to engage our imaginations even more. I think that people will laugh. The music is gonna be hot and the lights are gonna be fantastic and the costumes are going to be beautiful. There's going to be eye candy all over the stage. I think it'll be a visual feast for our audience.